Testing. Testing. One, two, three. sports uh, for the fall season. So uh, what comes of that, we're not sure right now. Um, they did back everything uh, up two weeks as far as start times. Um, so we do have some sports teams that are practicing in, in an open gym style, uh, but they haven't officially started as of yet. Okay, buildings and grounds committee. Under Curriculum Committee, uh, Western Area Career and Technology Center update. I I have my meeting on Wednesday, but they're trying to go back the five days. That's my understanding as well. I have a meeting tomorrow. Okay. Um, do I? Go ahead. What? In, oh, in the afternoon. Yeah. Okay. 
Do I have a motion to approve the 2021 Western Area Career and Technical Guidance? Motion for item C, Do I have a second? Second. Anybody have any discussion? Yeah. Well, in a minute. <laughs> okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Do you want to do it now? If anybody has any questions in regards to the school year, you just have to say your name and your address. Anybody have any questions? I'm going to give them a rundown. up to your mouth. All right, I, I was told that uh, they that uh, folks online couldn't hear me, so I'll just uh, re reiterate very quickly that Avelva's plan uh, remains to bring students back five students and staff back five days a week starting August 31st. Uh, the major change that has come from the Department of Health and PDE came today at about 3.15, uh, and it is a major change. Yeah, this, is, this was the microphone Leslie was using.
Okay. I apologize. We'll try one more time. Uh, Avella's plan is to bring students uh, back into the, the building five days a week, students and staff, starting August 31st. Um, the, the major change to our plan uh, is that today at about 3.15, uh, we were notified that there's been a change to the mask order um, from the state. It's on the PD website uh, and also comes from the Department of Health, stating that um, our prior plan allowed for students to remove masks once they were socially distanced and seated, seated within the classroom. Um, that's now been changed and students need to uh, wear masks throughout the, the school day. They will be allowed uh, mask breaks of not more than 10 minutes throughout the day. Uh, however, uh, for the majority of the time, they will have to, to wear the mask and that is an order. Um, as opposed to a, a guideline or a recommendation as, as many things that have come uh, to school districts from the state. Uh, this is an order um, or a requirement that um, we're going to have to follow. Being on that side of the, that requirement states it's only one mask break a day or they're allowed to take? It, it doesn't indicate that. Um, Five two minute breaks. So they, they can't exceed ten minutes. They can take multiple breaks not to exceed ten minutes each time. That that would be my understanding. So what uh Ms. Dreyer asked was that could students take um, more than one mass break throughout the day? And that would be my understanding. Uh what it states is at least six feet apart during face covering breaks to last no longer than ten minutes. However, breaks uh, is plural, it's not singular. So uh, my interpretation of that would be that, that they could take ma uh, mass breaks throughout the school day. Um, they're also allowed to remove masks when they're uh, eating or drinking, when spaced six feet apart, or if wearing a face covering creates an unsafe condition in which to operate equipment or execute a task. students will be socially distanced within the, the cafeteria. So we've added additional uh, tables and additional areas for students to, to eat. We've added a lunch period in the junior senior high school um, to, to reduce the number of students eating at one time. And at the elementary, we've uh, ordered extra tables. Typically, they use half of the, the gym slash cafeteria for lunches. This year, they, they uh, currently have uh, three lunch periods. They will have three lunch periods this year as well, but they will use the entire space uh, to socially distance uh, while eating. And that decision to utilize the, the cafeteria was made on the, the concern of students with uh, food allergies and eating in the classroom and, and uh, those allergens remaining in the, in the classroom for those students. So originally we were using uh, the, the Keller coded system that Governor Wolf had, had uh, come up with and we had a, a green uh, which basically meant go. Uh, we were face to face, uh, a yellow designation uh, would have been our hybrid or blended learning model and a red would have been all uh, remote. Um, more recently, uh, it appears as though uh, the, the governor doesn't want to utilize the the, the Keller coded designations any longer because even though Pennsylvania's in green, there's many, many restrictions for uh, restaurants and, and bars and, and so forth. Um, 
even going as far as, as to, to say that he doesn't believe that um, there should be high school sports until after January. Um, so, you know, we, we continue to, to, to move forward with that. The latest guidance, though, uh, has moved away from the, the, the Keller Cody guidance, and it's using a metric that's based on the, uh, the number of students uh, or I'm sorry, the, the number of individuals within the county uh, that are positive for COVID, um, and then also the number of uh, individuals in the county that percentage-wise have tested positive. So for face-to-face -face instruction, they want uh, less than, than 10 individuals, uh, an increase of 10 or less uh, within the, the prior week and a percentage of 5% or less that have tested positive for COVID. So we have to meet both those metrics for face-to-face -face instruction. So if we take a, a look at uh, the week ending last Friday, uh, we would, Washington County, we would still be allowed to, to have the face-to-face. -face. We were at 3.5% tested positive, and it was actually, uh, I believe it was uh, 11 individual drop uh, from the week prior. Uh, so we would have met both of those metrics and been able to uh, conduct face-to-face -face instruction. Uh, but we will continue to, to monitor uh, those numbers as we move. We're two weeks away from, from starting school now, so, so we are getting very close. But uh, the positive is that those numbers in Washington County uh, over the last two weeks have decreased. Now, my understanding is that that is a, a recommendation or guideline. Okay, so um, do I have a motion? I'll make a motion for items E and F. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Do I, okay, comprehensive plan. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No. Opposed. Can they hear me now? Okay. Under Finance Committee. Do I have any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, discussion item, letter from the Avella Area Public Library, attachment finance A. Negotiations committee. I think we need to schedule a committee meeting for the, to, I guess, start up the teacher talk. I guess is there a time that works better for us? Any time to do I'll find anything. If it could be later, a little later in the evening. Well, I mean, we'll start <laughs>
Is that going to give us enough time though? Five thirty? If oh, we well, have an hour. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing it the sixteenth. Okay. All right. So personnel committee. Um, do I have a motion to approve the staffing agreement between the Avella Area School District and the STAT Staffing Medical I will Services? Make a Go ahead. Uh, do we have anything in the works for the two teachers that's not going to be here? One to one is like hiring. Yeah, but the FMLA is new, right? Right. Yeah, but I just. They have a substitute in for that. Does anybody else have anything on those questions? All the, go ahead. Are we confident that we're going to have enough substitute teachers? <laughs> well, I, I mean, is this something we need to consider? Do we have one on the staff that is filling or something? I think there's some schools that are doing that, even if it's not needed, but if it's going to be a last minute thing. You can look at it. Like, I mean, you have one of each building for a set amount of time. Mm -hmm. If you have bigger, if you move, need two in the elementary or need two in the high school, if you have two that at least you can draw from, they have some sense of. Okay. Do you have a question? Oh, okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Under policies, do I have a motion to approve the teacher's handbook for the 20? Make a motion for items A and B and C. Okay. Second. 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 Any discussion? Do we think a change based on the latest guidance on masks? And if so, can we just make sure that we update the latest? Yeah, so that's a piece that would need to be changed because what's in the current handbooks indicate that students will be allowed to remove the mask once seated. That that will need to, to be changed, and that can be changed uh, to tomorrow morning. So you're voting on that with the, the change that masks are required. That revised, yes. Right. <laughs> I, mean, I, just, I don't know, I guess I'm just more curious about the wording in the handbook. You know, is it going to be listed in there as saying as mass as state guidelines? Well, I guess it'll be around to the uh, board. We could write it in there as required by the. I'm going to say something else, but I'll just say <laughs> Governor Wilson. I mean, just so we know that, you know, if we're fortunate enough that this goes away, that very next day the students. I, I understand that. 
that order is written in a way that it's in effect until they until the state removes it, correct? Correct. Right. So you could put some language in saying you could put some language in saying, um, you know, this is the rule and the district will follow any other state requirements or guidelines as may be revised at any time. You could do that too. Yeah. <laughs> And if you wanted something for guidelines, you could say, you know, and may follow guidelines and will follow requirements. You know, you want to give yourself some flexibility. Um, this may, you could, you could say maybe just something as simple as, and, and Cyril, if you want to talk about this tomorrow, we can, but maybe something as simple as subject to change based on state requirements and or guidelines, you know, that's pretty open. Anybody else have anything? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Should carry. Uh, safety committee meeting is scheduled for September 3rd at 8 a.m. Under technology committee, internet access points will be located in our community for students' use if necessary. Did you want to add anything to that? Uh, we just, uh, okay. Uh, we're just working with. Uh, no, it should. It's on. It didn't work before. It didn't work before. It was on. It's just so It's a bad mic. Thank you. Can you the math? Can you Yeah, I know. Um, just working with uh, members in the community and um, Hickory Telephone Company uh, in areas where um, there's uh, he currently has internet lines. Uh, he's allowing us to, to place access points on uh, one of his poles uh, to, to broadcast uh, the internet through like a, a parking lot that may be closer to a, a student's home than having to have the student come here to the school. So uh, we just tried uh, last Thursday uh, with the Avella Fire Department and um, we, we placed that and were able to cover that whole uh, parking lot uh, all the way back to the, the, the creek. We were still receiving uh, four, four bars a, a service. So uh, it seems to work really well. So we're gonna go ahead and, and move forward with that in, in some other uh, community locations. Do we know what those locations are yet? Well, we're still waiting to hear back. Um, we, we haven't heard from all the locations whether we, we have approval to, to do that or not. but. Uh, areas that we were looking at, and I'm probably off the top of my head going to miss one or two, but uh, one of those would be the, the community center um, in Independence. Um, we're looking at um, uh, Cross Creek. Um, yes. Um, as I said, the, the fire hall, uh, West Middletown Fire Hall, uh, is going to be another location. Um, and we're still waiting to, to hear back from um, Indian Run Golf Course uh, was another location that uh, we're looking at. And then um, Brian Jeffers is also uh, working with Washington County and, and some grant money um, to, to bring Internet up 50 um, and into the uh, township uh, plural of, of independence. So uh, he hopes to... Uh, expand that as, as quickly as possible. Um, Any option up towards Buffalo Village? Uh, at this time, I don't believe. Um, you could look at the. Um, you could look near the church. Upper Buffalo Church has a pool off parking area as a possibility. For Buffalo. So, Hopewell Township is is difficult. For us to, or, or at least for Hickory Telephone, uh, to to provide service. Um, we don't know anything about that. <laughs> um, you know, he he's saying he would like to to do more that way, but he just doesn't have any infrastructure there currently to to build off of. So just a suggestion because he does does have infra infrastructure at the bottom of Lynn Portal. So if he continued Lynn Portal up to. Um, 
watching South, is that South Buffalo or North Buffalo, Scott? Um, yeah, one of those two. That's one South, two. right? South I believe Buffalo. that's South. Is that South Buffalo? Yeah. Did you make my text when I was done seeing I did. Point? Yeah, thank you. Just, I mean, we've, we've got points, it looks yeah, like, right. at every spot within the district other than yeah well i'll certainly ask him a, about that but that was you know really we were trying to space them th mm -hmm. throughout and that was uh he basically saying anything on the other side of uh the west middletown fire hall is going to be difficult for him to reach right Unless now it comes from from the hickory side instead of coming from down in the avella side you come from the hickory side okay because it's not that i mean he's got internet service at tags AJ's flicker or really yeah. close. You don't have it, man. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh. It's really close. <laughs> so close. Um, on that technology aspect, Cyril, would you mind, um, or Cheryl or Zach or whoever, just giving an overview of the in ingenuity plan that we are using for the cyber school option for the students? So shows. So the program that the programs there's two separate programs um, both off the same platform um, the k-4 to is called compass and the 5 through 12 is called edgenuity um, currently we have a number of uh, families that have asked to be purely online with cyber and we're conducting orientations for the same families at this time the program is different than the spring Due to the fact that there is one platform which you can access all the classes from uh, the teachers have been participating in uh, professional development um, on their own time uh, during the summer and then we also have those days front loaded into the schedule so that the when the teachers do come in on monday the 24th that they will be able to build their classes in Edgenuity so that when, if and when, um, we would make any type of switch uh, to hybrid or full online that we would be ready to go with that. Is there any other questions? Uh, just to add to the uh, Compass learning experience, the, um, the elementary also will have a handout which is a binder one binder per nine weeks that we will be passing out to the students so it's not purely uh 100 online but it is in addition to or supplemental to that program uh, that's going to allow them not to uh, have to be online the entirety of the day uh, from what we have planned out so they have a little bit of relief uh, from that online exposure i also just want to mention that if we are put in a position where we need to to move to a hybrid or blended learning model throughout the the school year the 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 compass or and or ingenuity depending on your child's grade level uh is a platform that'll be utilized for those online days as well Okay, transportation committee, do I have a motion? motion for A, B, C, and D. <laughs> okay, do I have a second? You got, did you second? No. Okay. Any questions, comments? <laughs> yes. So it can be, right, as long as it's a face covering, it has to cover the nose and the mouth. So if it is a face shield, it has to come down to at least chin level. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, discussion item, GG&C contract, transportation contract.
have a meeting with GGNC on Wednesday um, just to, to discuss that if at some point we have to to go remote or we have to go hybrid during the, the school year, um, how that will work with, uh, with their drivers and, and, um, and also uh, cleaning and sanitizing the, uh, the, the buses and vans. Can I get to the cafe?